Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Hostile missiles, mortars, and artillery are a grave concern for ground forces during warfare. To retaliate against such dangers, the U.S. Armed Forces use a special point defense system named Counter Rocket Artillery and Mortar, CRAM. which is considered the last line of defense against a hostile projectile strike. The CRAM consists of a variety of systems that provide command and control capability, as well as the ability to sense, warn, respond, and intercept incoming rounds. In its land-based configuration, a land-based Phalanx Weapon Systems LPWS, is mounted on a wheeled platform, such as a HEM-T, in order to provide both a stable site and mobility to allow for repositioning. Assembling a CRAM involves a series of steps, such as placing a large ammunition drum to provide ammunition for its marvelous 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun. After loading the ammunition drum with high explosive incendiary rounds, the crew unpacks and inspects the radar system, command and control equipment power supply units, and sensors to ensure everything works fine. The CRAM can fire at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. Therefore, the United States has deployed it in various conflict zones, such as Iraq and Afghanistan, using large cargo planes such as the C-5 Galaxy. The components are disassembled, packed, and loaded onto the aircraft using the cargo ramps. Upon landing, trained specialists set up the CRAM system, which is then moved to a specified location to counter enemy projectile strikes. The CRAM has an enclosed control station known as Forward Area Defense Command and Control, FAD C2, which primes its M61 Gatling gun to fire when threats are instantaneously detected within the range. The CRAM incorporates an advanced search and track Ku band radar system that provides autonomous target detection capabilities. On the other hand, a forward looking infrared FLIR camera enables it to engage, prioritize, and kill those aerial threats in both daylight and nighttime environments. The CRAM protects the military bases in a war zone, which is why maintaining such technology requires much effort behind the scenes. The soldiers must repair generators instantly, maintain warning devices, and get the radars back online if they're down to keep the system up and running. Moreover, if the batteries connecting to the CRAM system are charged through solar panels, they must be maintained thoroughly.
The CRAM's naval equivalent, the Phalanx Close-In System, CIWS, was initially developed as an automated weapons defense system in 1973, incorporating a 20mm Vulcan Gatling gun. It was not until 2004 when the Navy appraised Phalanx CIWS as a possible ground-based variant due to its capacity to interface with a multitude of sensors to provide cover to ground-based forces. Although CRAM and CIWS are pretty similar, one major difference between them is the choice of ammunition. Phalanx CIWS fired tungsten armor-piercing rounds, whereas the CRAM uses 20mm Height SD, high explosive incendiary tracer, self-destructing ammunition. Apart from the CRAM, the US Armed Forces use several other air defense systems to provide cover to ground crews such as the renowned MIM-104 Patriot Missile Defense System. The Patriot system can be set up in less than an hour because all the components are truck or trailer mounted. Upon reaching the designated area, the crew sets up the feet of the M901 Launching Station, LS, which stabilizes and distributes the launcher's weight. It permits the Patriot to operate on slopes up to 10 degrees elevation. Simultaneously, the crew prepares the AN-MPQ-53-6565A 65 radar set, the OE-349 Antenna Mast Group, AMG, and the EPP-3 Electric Power Plant to make sure the Patriot missile system is ready to fire in no time. When the radar detects the presence of an incoming threat, the system either initiates the launching system automatically or the interceptors are manually fired from the Launcher Electronics Module, LEM. During the missile's flight, the Patriot system continues tracking the target using its radar and can make mid-course guidance updates to adjust its trajectory. The missile canister stores the Patriot's interceptors, and each canister can carry four Pac-3 missiles, which sums up to a total of 16 rounds on each launcher. The Patriot missile is a mid- or long-range. Therefore, the U.S. has several other short-range defense systems to protect ground units against aerial threats. One such example is the Avenger Defense System, designated as AN-TWQ-1 which is an American self-propelled surface-to-air missile system. It has a gyro-stabilized Avenger turret with Stinger missiles mounted on a 4x4 Humvee, high-mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, operated by a crew of two, a gunner, and a driver. The 
The Avenger defense system is efficient in acquiring, identifying, tracking, and engaging low-flying helicopters, aircraft, and UAVs. Like Patriot Missile Defense Systems, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, intercepts missiles during their terminal phase of flight. THAAD can detect and track enemy missiles at ranges of 870 meters to 3,000 kilometers, meaning they can obliterate short, medium, and intermediate range ballistic missiles either inside or just outside the atmosphere. It takes around 30 minutes to load a THAAD launcher with eight interceptors, which are housed in 6.6 .6 meter long, 1,044 kilogram launch canisters. These interceptors carry no warhead and rely entirely on their kinetic energy of impact to destroy the incoming missile. In modern day warfare, drones have become a major threat due to their ability to carry weapons. The U.S. Armed Forces use Medium Extended Air Defense System, MEADS, to detect these aerial targets and shoot them down. The U.S. Armed Forces recently acquired Mobile Short Range Air Defense, M-SHORAD, featuring advanced radar and remote weapon systems that swiftly and efficiently identify and count aerial threats. M-SHORAD uses M1126 Striker Combat Vehicle as its chassis. It is going to be a game changer, as its turret includes two AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire missiles, four FIM-92 Stinger missiles, an XM-914 30mm automatic cannon, an M240 7.62mm machine gun, and a multi-mission radar capable of tracking both ground and air targets. M-SHORAD is the mobile version of the short-range air defense. SHORAD, which is a group of anti-aircraft weapons and tactics that have to do with defense against low-altitude air threats, primarily helicopters and low-flying aircraft. SHORAD's systems can be deployed quickly to places where radar coverage is degraded or non-existent. SHORAD detects invisible targets during the nighttime by using multiple radar and RF sensors and uses electro-optic devices to provide precise angle measurements of aerial targets. Aerial defense systems are continuously evolving to keep up with the advancements in airborne threats. <laughs> Engineers, scientists, and researchers are working towards using directed energy weapons, DUES, that uses lasers or high-power microwaves to engage and destroy aerial threats. Moreover, 
aerial defense systems are expected to be more autonomous, ultimately leading to enhanced decision-making, response time, and system efficiency. Only time will tell what the future aerial defense systems will look like, but surely it will turn out to be something extraordinary. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.